What is good everybody, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. In today's video, we're gonna be ranking the guns in Call of Duty Mobile Season 6. This is inspired by Hawksness as well as Noah. I have not watched their videos, but I know they did a tier list for this. So all of this will be based on my opinion. And yes, I might be a little biased. And yes, I may put the shotgun in S tier. We're gonna start from the top from 8K117 all the way down to the um, XPR. And I'll kind of more or less give you guys my opinion on it. The first gun that we do have here, and also the chat will probably um, either disagree or agree with me. You guys will see the chat underneath me. but. AK-117, I'm going to put that in, I might revise it afterwards as well. I'm going to put it in a B tier. It's actually most likely an A tier. I want to leave it in the A tier. It's actually one of the best gun in the game. I thought about putting it in B tier, but it's not being played a lot, but it's still a really good gun. So I'm actually going to put it in the A tier. It's one of the best AR in the game. Very, very good mid range, close range. It's decent. Stability is okay, but still one of the best guns in the game. Good iron sights, and it's an AR, so mobility is pretty solid. So we'll put that there. AK-47, I'm going to put it in a B tier. It's a solid AR. The only downside is slow firing, hard recoil. However, if you can master it, it's a really good gun to use. It is one of those guns that like, I see a lot of pro players dominate with it. However, they're not using it as much now because the other guns currently in the meta is actually super good. So definitely one of the best. And also this is kind of weird because you're kind of ranking it between all those guns. You can't really compare the snipers to like ARs, but what else? I guess is what we're doing. We're all going to talk about the next one, which is the AK, uh, the AK, the Ar Arctic. I'm, I'm a bot. So I think the Arctic is a, a S tier sniper. It is one of the better snipers in the game. Literally, it's it's banned in most competitive competitive tournaments. So it makes it really good, especially if you put an ACOG on it. Yes, I'm saying ACOG. If you put an ACOG on an Arctic, I know it's toxic, but it's probably one of the best sniper you can use. However, um, it's really frowned upon, I want to say. It's really, really, really frowned upon, but still, still a really good gun to put. It's going to be our first S tier right now, but still very solid. We have the ASM-10. I know Noah told me, or somebody told me in chat that Noah put an S tier. I'm not going to personally put an S tier because personally I'm a potato and I was playing with it earlier today. It's solid. It's, I was debating either, like if I could put it in between both, it'd be good, but I'm going to put it in the A tier just because if you can't hit your shots, it's a three tap. It's good range. The recoil's pretty wonky when it comes to range, but still pretty solid when it comes to damage. So solid if you can control it, not so great if you can't. BK also going to be in the A tier. I don't think it's S tier just because that recoil is kind of wonky afterwards it first shot goes like this but it goes like an s which is kind of weird but good solid damage in mid to close range it's just a long range however if you it's the gun that i use all the time so it seems i'm putting a lot in eighth gear so hopefully um it's gonna change a little bit by 15 that's definitely s tier chat it is the best one tap gun in the game i might even say it's broken if you're really good with the shotgun you can dominate the game i am not even trolling i'm not even memeing I think the BY-15 is, I'm also very biased, Chad. I'm so biased, so very, very biased. If we're not like me, realistically speaking, it'd be a B tier kind of gun, maybe A, but I'm gonna put it in the S tier because it wouldn't be me if I didn't put it in the S tier, right? Chicken is gonna be next. Some people might consider this a D tier gun, but I'm personally gonna put in a C tier gun just because you can dominate with it. It has pretty good range for an SMG. And the three tap can be controlled, so I actually put in the C tier. It's one of those guns that can laser, but why use that gun if you can use the other ones on this list? I'm gonna put the Cordite. Cordite's gonna definitely be an S tier, in my opinion. I've gotten a nuke with it, so definitely gonna be it. It's by far the best SMG, close with the RUS, but the 40 mag is huge. It has basically no horizontal recoil, so you can control the vertical recoil, laser people. But yeah, it's kind of biased as well, because those are my two main guns, the BY-15. Again, the BY-15, uh, it's like, a, I put an asterisk on this. If I can put an asterisk on the BY-15, I would. All right, DLQ. For a sniper, it's an S tier for the sniper. If you're not a sniper, it would be A tier, but we're gonna, since I put the Arctic there, I'm kind of have to put it there. So we're gonna kind of put the snipers. Again, like I said, the snipers for me, it's not a gun that I use often, so for me, snipers, I can kind of still rank them because I did try a few of them. However, it's just, it's kind of annoying to compare snipers to other guns. Like, you can't really compare shotgun and snipers to all the other AR, SMG, and stuff like that. So we are going to be putting the S tier for the DLQ, just because I think personally it is a pretty solid sniper. If not the best, comp like, it's, it's the DLQ and Arctic. Those are the two best snipers in the game. There's definitely no debate on that. It's definitely the best two snipers in the game. GKS, all right, so here's the thing about the GKS. It's a substantially worse Cordite. However, it does have solid damage. The rate of fire is kind of weird, 
but it's not that bad. Uh, I do think it is better than the court, the chicken. So I am going to put the GKS in the B tier because I've seen players dominate it. However, I don't think it being used as much doesn't mean that it's not a good gun. You can do a lot of work with it. I know B Nate's rock stat like crazy. For me, like S tier is like everyone should have one of these in your loadout. A tier is like it's probably used a lot by pro players as well as in rank. B tier is like some of those like those are not used as much, but they're still good. But if you're really good at it, it's it's, it's solid. C tiers are like kind of, oh, I can use it every once in a while if I'm trying to have fun and I can still get some kills, but not do well. And then D tier is something you should never use. And those are the types of videos that like Ferg would be doing is D tier, like those worst guns in the game, D tier. That's what he would be using. That's D tier for you. HBR. Initially, this would be S tier, but it's going to get nerfed. So I'm going to put it down to the B tier. I don't think it's S tier just because the recoil is not amazing. I mean, like, I want to put it like in between. If there's like an S A kind of tier, like it's one of those, like I, I personally put an A tier just because it does have good damage. It, but I put the BK, so similar to BK, except HBR is better recoil. However, I don't know. I, I could, I might, I might change it afterwards. It's either S for me or B A tier. I don't think it's S tier though. I know a lot of people like it got nerfed a bit, so that made it lowered down a bit. I don't think everybody's gonna be playing it. HG40, uh, definitely a C tier, maybe even a B tier. The thing is like HG40 is like an AR but with better mobility. In that situation, I can see people using it as a meme, but I don't think people should be using it over the GKS or the Cordite or any other SMG on this list. You see some pros player use it, but I don't think it's as great of a gun compared to either the, the GKS. It's like I said, it's like in between. If you can have like these in-betweens, right? I'd rather use an AR than use the HG. And I'd rather use any other SMG than the HG. But nonetheless, if you can play with it, it's a really fun one to play. HS Bandit. Within the shotgun, it's probably the third best one, honestly, the third best one, but it's a C tier shotgun. You probably don't want to be using this. There's way better shotguns in the game. It might even be D tier, but it's still at least one taps compared to the other shotguns in the game. HS2126, there's no doubt in my mind that's a D tier. It's the worst shotgun, if not second worst shotgun in the game. HVK, I do want to put it in the uh, C tier. We're going to put it in the C tier just because it's like an HG. Let's be honest, it's an AR that's trying to be an SMG. It's good rate of fire, but that it's like a weird like sideway and then swag. It's really bad in my opinion. It's not terrible. Like it's just that a small recoil is kind of bad. Definitely for me to C tier. ICR, I like it in the B tier. It's going to get buff slash nerf, but it has really solid recoil. It's also really solid range. The damage is a, it's a slight weakness of it. It could also be in C tier. Again, if it gets like a damage buff, this would be a easily an S tier gun or even an A tier. It's A, maybe S. KN, this is going to be a Oh, that's a Man of War. Why did I grab the Man of War, chat? KN, I want to put this either on S tier. I'm going to put an S tier because I think it's one of the best, if not the best AR currently in the meta. I personally like it better than the BK and the HBR just because it is super fast. The reason it's hard to kind of like rank ARs is because there are a lot of them are at the same level. So a lot of them would be like close to each other. Like there's so many ARs you can play, but I think the cannon is just solid because it has a fast fire rate, solid damage, good range, good recoil. It's just like... It gets pretty wonky after the first few shots. It might be the only S tier in this list, but it is a solid gun. Man of War. We're gonna we're gonna put that in the the C tier right now. As of now, they haven't upgraded anything. I want to put it either B or C, but for now, I just put it on the C just because it's like not good, it's not bad. The great thing about this is the hip fire, honestly, right? ASM also three taps, so the Man of War team three taps. So I honestly don't think. It's worth it. That's why I put it two tiers down because yes, you need good recoil control. But again, if you have good recoil control, why not just use the ASM? Why not use the BK? Why not use any of the other guns? KRM. Um, this is one of those like asterisks. It's an A tier shotgun. Might even be, no, it's an A tier shotgun. I thought about B, but maybe not. The BY-15 is better. The KRM has more damage per bullets, 35 compared to 30 that the BY-15 has. However, the BY-15 has a tighter spread, which means if you're more accurate, you're gonna kill more people compared to the KRM but the KRM will most likely kill within these close range fights. So that's why I'm gonna put it in A tier. Some people might actually put it in S tier. However, I can't put a gun in S tier if not everyone has it. We are gonna put the LK, surprisingly. A lot of people might not know this, but I'm gonna have it as an A tier. It's one of the best ARs currently in the meta. Pro players are using it. I actually have a video that was supposed to come out later today, but I'm actually postponing it because I'm posting either this video or the ASM video. LK is a nasty AR. If you haven't used it, you have to try it. In my opinion, it's one of the best ARs currently in the meta. Good damage, good 
good range, decent recoil, and iron sight are very, very nice. Next up, Locust. We're gonna put on the C tier. Again, I might be a little biased because I don't play snipers. I thought about it. It's not as good as the two snipers in S tier, but having the Locust as V is still a solid gun to use in rank. And now that people actually, ha I, I just remember that people actually have it. It has a faster scope in time, but then again, I don't know, like the Arctic is pretty nasty and the deal is pretty nasty. We'll move it down a bit. I think that's uh, acceptable. M16, C tier. I don't even think it deserves to be in the B tier. It's one of those guns that if you play with it, it's really fun. It can one burst. Yeah, I think it's one of those C tier kind of guns. It could be B tier, but I honestly don't think so. Low key OP if you can hit those close range shots. That's why I'm like, eh, maybe put it higher. But then again, I don't think it's really that solid. So we're going to leave it down here in the C tier. We're gonna have the M21 EBR down in the D tier. There's no worries, no reason to talk about it. I know people are like, oh, it's OP. No, it's it's not that OP, let's be honest. Any sniper that's not one tapping is moving down to the D tier, in my opinion. And for LMG, I'm gonna put it down on the D tier as well. I think it's the worst LMG of all of them. It wasn't amazing, I really don't like it. I mean, obviously it's an LMG, so it's super slow, super... Most of the LMGs are gonna be pretty low tiers because there's no really amazing LMGs except for a few. But yeah, I don't even think I need to explain it even more than this. M4 is going to be a B tier, I think. Solid damage. It's one of those better guns for beginners. They're nerfing slash buffing it. So we'll see how that goes. It's basically an ITR. So if I put the ITR here, the M4 is going to be here. A lot of pro players do use it by a lot. I mean like three or four during the Omen tournament. MSMC. Currently, it's going to be C tier. It's one of those guns that if you're really good at mastering it, why use MSMC if you can use a Pharaoh, personally? I might even, yeah, it's either C or B for me. Like the MSC is just is it's so bad to use because the recoil is so wonky. And like you can't hit like close range fights you can shoot, but again the Pharaoh, in my opinion, is a little bit better than that. So that's why we put it there. Alright, outlaw. Either a D tier or a C tier. The, the fact that it hits it your hands is considered part of like the non-lethal zone makes it almost impossible to actually hit sh people with it. So annoying to get those hit markers for a sniper, but it has the fastest scope in time of any of the ARs, so there's that. So I will put it in C tier. PW, I, I would've put it A tier, but I don't know. All these other SMGs are substantially better. PW, B tier, it has a 50 mag. It's really beginner friendly. However, the recoil I've noticed of recent, I don't know why, just it feels kind of off when the medium to long range fights, but it's, it's an SMG. So you definitely are not gonna be using it uh, for those long range fights. However, it does have the fastest time to kill within the five meters. So you'll be able to laser people in that. We have uh, the Pharaoh next, which is gonna be either A or S, but I think it's an S tier gun. When you're talking about like using a burst weapon, it's the best burst weapon in the game. It has, it's getting nerfed. Don't get it twisted. So it's possible this could be even dropped all the way down to B, but the Pharaoh is three out of four has to hit to burst. You can kill so many people with that. A lot of pro players do actually use a Pharaoh and instead of using the MSMC use a Pharaoh, so that's why I have it based on my game style and I play a lot of like rushing style and I've used a Pharaoh and I've actually, I love using the Pharaoh, it's so close to the shotgun to me. Razorback, I haven't played enough of it, so I'm actually gonna put it right in B tier just because it's literally the same thing as the PDW. RPD is also gonna be a, I'm gonna put it A tier, it is the best LMG in the game. So if you're gonna use an LMG, I would rock the, um, the RPD just because it, it has pretty solid recoil control, good damage, 100 mag, that's why I have that there. RUS is gonna be S tier. It is such a good gun. It's either that or the Cordite. Those are the two SMGs current use. It could be debatable when it's A, but honestly, since I don't think it's gonna get nerfed anytime soon, it's one of those S tier guns. I just think it's better for the long run because you'll be playing the RUS more often and you'll be able to get used to it since it's, I don't think it's gonna get nerfed anytime soon just because the Cordite's gonna get nerfed before it. It has good range. It's basically what the HG40 wants to be, but can't. It has a great rate of fire, great damage, great range. All right, S36, you're moving down to the C tier. You're you're absolutely terrible. I might even put you down all the way here, but nah. Just because like you can play with it, it's terrible recoil, like very bad. The recoil from medium to long range is so bad, but it has great, like it kills so fast when it comes to close range. Striker is gonna be a D tier, it's actually dookie type 25. I put it also C tier. The recoil from medium range is pretty bad. It's Good rate of fire, but the recoil is actually really, really, really bad, but still one of the better guns. Actually, I didn't even talk about the striker, but let's let's be honest, the striker is just dookie. The only time a striker is OP is if a bot's using it, because they shoot three bullets in half a second. But yeah, Type 25 used to be really, really good. Good rate of fire. One of those guns that could be B if you're really good at controlling the recoil, but then again, like that medium range, long range is... 
I'm much rather use the I'm much rather use the AK, the ICR, or the M4 instead of the Type 25. And then uh, we have the last two ones here, the UL. It's better than the S36. I'm actually gonna put in the B tier. I like the mobility. It has pretty fast reload, and the damage is pretty solid. So, and then the XPR 100% gonna be S tier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be a another D tier. It's actually, I think it's worse than the M21. So this is gonna be our final look on it. Basically, let me just scroll up so we can see the final tier list. I might do a few changes right now, but as of now, it looks. I, th I think it's pretty solid. So. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, I am on tiermaker.com. I'm actually going to link this one in my description as well. So if you guys want to make your own tier and tag me on Instagram, I'm uh, not Instagram, I lied, Twitter, the Hitman 127, you guys will be able to do that. So for S tier, for me, these are guns that if you're rocking that specific loadout, I think you should have these in your loadout if you're running like, like I don't run SMGs. So I mean, I don't run snipers, so I'm not going to have any of the snipers, but you got the Arctic DLQ being S tier. You got the BY-15 shotgun S tier. Again, like I said, super biased. This could definitely be dropped down into A tier, but personally, that's what I have uh, as a shotgun. If you're using a shotgun, it's the best shotgun in the game. So there's no point of denying that. The Cordite in the S tier, the Pharaoh in the S tier. I'm actually gonna move it like that. RUS as well. Those are the three SMGs that are pretty solid, depending on what you're trying to do. And then you have the KN50, the KN50, the KN44 as the best AR in the game currently, in my opinion. It's close though, let's be honest. It's really close to some of these other ARs, but I think it's one of the ARs that you should be using if you are using an AR. Now for here, we have the shotgun KRM. Could be a S tier if it was red available. I was gonna say another word, but I didn't remember how to say it. But if you are talking about the KRM, it's the, the probably the best, um, one of the best shotguns. So that's why we have an A tier. Then we have the RPD, which is the best LMG in the game. ASM, AK-117, BK, HBR, and LK. Those are pretty close within each other, A and S. So we have those in A tier, then in B tier, the Locust, AK, oh, I have the AK here. I meant to do this. The UL, the AK-47, the ICR, the M4, and then we have the PDW and the Razorback and the GKS. C tier, we're gonna have the Outlaw. I don't know why I scrolled down. SC Iran. I mean, hi, Ron. And then C tier we have the Outlaw, the Bandit, the HSO, the S36, the Chickum, the HD, the MSMC, the HGK, the Manowar, the M16, the Type 25. And in the D tier we have the XBR, M21 EBR, the HS2126, the Striker, and the M4 LMG. So that's gonna be my tier list. If you guys uh, agree with me, let me know in the comments down below or disagree with me. Send me your your own tier list on Twitter at the Hitman137. So that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Again, let me know in the comments down below if you agree or disagree. And um, yeah, join me live on stream because this is where we do this every every single day. I sometimes do random 24 hours stream, but yeah, check it out. It's gonna be the first pin comment, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Kill it!